ago, a good friend of mine recommended that I read a book called Born to Run. And like most advice that you get from good friends, um, I didn't take it. Um, several more years went by and my wife brought home the book from the library. Um, and I devoured it in a couple of days. And from that point on, I've just been learning and researching about how to run um, properly, what's good technique. Um, and then that kind of led me into some barefoot and minimalist running. So I've put thousands of miles on my feet, um, barefoot and in minimal shoes. And I'm going to go through some of the shoes that I've worn over the last decade or more while I've been doing that. Um, the first ones that I kind of transitioned to were Vibram Five Finger. I've got the um, Vibram Sole. It's super tough. Um, lasts forever. This is not my first pair of Vibram. Um, this is probably my second pair. Um, but I really love these black pair. So I held on to them for a really long time. Um, super flexible. You can wad them up in a ball. Um, just fantastic minimalist padding. Um, it's just let your feet be in touch with the ground when you're moving. Um, so I've had several pair of the five finger over time. Um, there's another couple of pair. These are not mine. I've gotten rid of all mine, um, but this is another design style, a little bit different on the, the pattern on the sole. Tops are essentially the same. Again, super flexible. You can twist them, bend them all different directions. Um, but I got rid of all my five fingers except for my black pair. Um, just, I don't know why. Um, this is the pair that I like the most. It was the original pair. It's the simplest pair and it's the one that I wore the most. Um, I did get away from wearing the five fingers. The toes separated because of this. Um, socks. I sweat a lot on my feet when I have them in the shoe. So I was going to have to get some socks to put on and wear with the shoe. And the problem with this is that socks are not cheap um, so every time you buy a pair of socks it's a few bucks and I just didn't want to keep going through socks because the socks do wear out over time also they split they get holes just like other socks and uh, I just didn't feel like that was the best long-term solution so I still have my vibram five fingers I wear them every once in a while but they're not my main shoe any longer um, what I have moved on to um, again this is an older pair wore these for a couple of years they're very similar um, to a pair called the Merrill Vapor Glove. You see those in comparison. Um, and actually, I have these on right now. These are my outside shoes. This is my original Merrill Vapor Gloves. Um, you can kind of see they've worn through a hole right there in the bottom. <laughs> Again, thousands of miles on top of these shoes. Um, so they've been really good for me. The problem with the Merrill is that every single pair that I have had uh, getting ahead of myself here every pair that I've had which includes the one I have on now they crack right across the seam around the edges and over here on the side and that actually happened pretty fast so you know within the first month these were starting to crack on me um, and I don't like spending several hundred dollars on new shoes only to have them be destroyed and not really look good after four or five weeks. Um, so that's kind of the biggest drawback that I have for the Vibram or the Merrill Vapor Glove. Um, again, the shoe crumples up. It's you know really easy, soft to m manipulate, um, the minimal soles. Um, and the reason that I didn't want to keep buying these is because they're over a hundred bucks each. And so I tried to look online and find something very similar. I found these, they're called Tesla. I don't think you can buy these any longer. Um, the good thing about these were the sole seems to be about the same. Um, the top, the material didn't crack nearly as bad as the Merrells. So along the side here, it held on pretty well. On this side over here, still holding on. Um, one problem is that the toe, if you can kind of see the toe rips through. I feel like the design should have come a little bit farther over the top. But that's also an issue with the Merrells as well because they split right by the toe too. Um, so again, these Teslas, they squeeze all around, very flexible, manipulative. Um, another pair of the Merrells. I think I'm about ready to throw, <laughs> these are my outside shoes. I've been wearing them around, but sole's done. So I'm going to throw these away and I'm going to replace them with these Merrell Vapor Gloves. These are just kind of my outside shoes that I like to work in the garden. Um, easy to slip on, slip off, um, good foot protection still, um, a lot of life left in the sole. They just don't look very good, so I don't want to wear them out in public anymore, even though I'm not a fashion icon. Um, so there's my next pair of Merrells. These are going to be my outside shoes. Again, 
they just start ripping across the top and you can see some of the white um, inside fabric starts to show they just not they don't look nice they're still functional um, but not great what did I do next I moved on to some running sandals um, I don't remember the brand name of these but there's the little icon right there logo so I've got my running sandals uh, again several hundred thousand miles on these things you can tell where I land um, where I've hit there's the landing pattern I really liked running in these but there is one drawback um, when you're running and you can kind of see it shapes uh, the shape is arced down so when I was running occasionally I would tilt my foot and as my toe uh, should demonstrate this as my toe was raising up to take the next step you can see that the the sole stays down a little bit and occasionally I would clip um, a curb or some concrete and the sole would roll under and cause me to stumble um, I fell a couple of times nothing bad um, still pretty agile for my age so I just took a roll got back up and kept on running uh, but it's not a pleasant experience to fall while you're running so kind of got away from the running sandals just for that aspect um, I did like them just because my feet were able to breathe I didn't sweat as much didn't have to worry about socks um, did get cold sometimes running um, in the winter but overall, I still like my sandals. Um, again, you can tell my running pattern's not great there because I land on the side of my foot a lot. Um, I did have to trim these down some when I got them. I took a pair of scissors and shaped them to my foot. Um, but, you know, these are good, but still not exactly what I was looking for. Um, next one on my list is Freet. Uh, this is a company from the UK. Um, again, I'm not quite as good of a sole as the Vibram sole. Um, just not as strong, not as rigid, um, whatever material it's made out of. You can see it split some right here. Um, I put the same pounding on all my shoes, so uh, you can see this one just didn't hold up quite as well as like the, the Vapor Glove does um, as far as the sole is concerned. Um, top, again, starts to split on the sides here, around the toe area, over on the outside of the foot. Um, so again, the, the upper portion, the mesh, just didn't hold up very well. Um, very comfortable shoe though still. So I liked it enough that I bought a second pair. So these are still shoes that I wear. They're super comfortable, have a nice wide toe box. Um, all of my shoes have wide toe box, I have wide feet. Um, so I don't wear anything narrow. Um, and again, these are still in good shape. You can see some of the fabric at the top is starting to come apart that's why I don't like these shoes but otherwise they're really comfortable if I was gonna wear them around just as like dress shoes um, kind of everyday shoes that I wasn't gonna be running jumping stomping around in these would probably be a terrific shoe um, however it's not my last pair <laughs> my last pair my current pair are called I think they're called the Witten w-h-i-t-i-n um, these these shoes again super flexible you can crunch them in every direction um, the sole on them seems to be holding up pretty well I don't know if it's as strong as the Vibram that's not the Vibram I don't know if it's as strong as the Vibram sole yet I simply haven't put enough wear and tear on them yet um, but I bought two pair of these uh, one size 43 one size 44 44s were just for walking around being comfortable in the size 43s I wanted to tighten them up so I could play some basketball in them um, and I did played a lot of basketball in them so they've held up really well um, you can see the sole isn't worn very much at all there's no splits on top of the fabric this is a canvas fabric um, I've been looking for this shoe for a long time and it's finally out there so I hope that this shoe hangs together and doesn't fall apart on me in the next year um, if it is, this is going to be my shoe for the foreseeable future. Again, super flexible, minimalist uh, sole. Let your foot be in contact with the ground. They've got some inserts. Um, I have one foot that's bigger than the other, so I wear the insert on one side and not on the other, um, just to make the shoes fit a little bit better. Uh, but Witten, this is the brand that I'm wearing right now. This is the most comfortable brand for me. Giant toe box. Um, over the years, I've probably purchased... 70 to 80 different types of shoes. I've purchased the Adidas, the Nike, the Fila, all the different minimalist shoes from the big brands and just not happy with any of them. 
Um, they had hot spots in them that hurt my feet. They weren't wide enough, um, just a lot of issues. So I've always tried to go with brands that I know nothing about. Um, some of the shoes I've spent a couple hundred bucks on, some of them I've spent $15 on. Um, but right now, these are the most comfortable that I can find. Um, in those 70 to 80 shoes that I've probably purchased that include martial arts shoes as well as the name brand shoes, um, I just searched Amazon, I searched everywhere I could possibly find online to try to find some shoes that fit and are comfortable and are going to work for me long term without spending several hundred dollars. And oh, luckily these are fairly inexpensive. Um, so this is my current shoe recommendation. Um, very flexible, wide toe box, super comfortable, canvas top, doesn't fall apart. Um, if I change it up, I'll let you know.